For us to boot the engine ROM, we need to be at MIUI 13.0.3 or the global ROM. Here we are at 13.0.1 global ROM, so we need to upgrade the ROM, or in your case, downgrade. Just follow the steps. Of course, you need to download the 13.0.3 stack ROM, then extract to your PC. After extracting, just open it and copy the address by clicking the address bar on top. Then open the Mi Flash tool and paste the address you just copied. Hit refresh. You'll notice your device ID will pop up once it's being read by the Mi Flash tool. Don't forget to select Clean All if you don't want to relock your bootloader. Then proceed to flashing. In any case you receive this anti-rollback error, just follow this fix. Go back to the extracted file and find flash underscore all that but then right click and choose edit a notepad will pop up you will notice in the second paragraph that says anti-rollback check error just highlight the entire paragraph and delete it exit and save the file then reflash again usually this error follows the no such file or directory error just follow this fix go back again to the extracted file and copy or cut the entire folder transfer it to your system drive or drive c just paste it and open the folder copy again the address and paste it to the mi flash tool Now it should work. Sometimes you get this error at the end of the flashing process. Just ignore it. Your device should boot automatically to the system. Here we have now the MIUI 13.0.3. We can now proceed to flashing the ancient ROM. You need to download these files, you can choose either the Shield or Weibo version. The Weibo is an anime theme ROM, while the Shield is the classic original theme of the ancient ROM. Just copy both the ancient ROM file and the TWRP image to your device. Once copied, go back to your device. You can quickly open your file manager to verify if the two files are there. Now power off the device and reboot to fast boot mode. Of course, connect it via USB cable. On your PC, open CMD by typing CMD on the address bar. Just type fast boot, boot, then drag the TWRP image into the CMD. Once command is executed, your device will automatically boot into the recovery mode. On your TWRP, proceed to advance and choose install recovery RAM disk. Swipe down and select the TWRP image you just copied earlier. After flashing, it's suggested to boot back to system before flashing the actual custom ROM. Just reboot again to TWRP by holding volume up and power button simultaneously. Once booted again on the TWRP, proceed to install, swipe down and select the ancient ROM you just copied earlier. It's also important to take the automatically reflash TWRP after flashing a ROM if you want to keep the TWRP. You will encounter errors in the process, just ignore it and wait until it finishes. When done, wipe Dolby Cache and go back to the main menu, then choose wipe format data, then just type yes. Now you can safely reboot to the system. There you go, just set it up as usual.